and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as a 4 kids at 147. It's purple post time. Um, I am so excited to bring you one of the ever so famous, feels like the ever so famous, um, is it Hel Helcrio? I've, pro I've hashed the pronunciation, um, but the artist paintings from Diamond Art Studio, um, they are absolutely amazing designs. They have been ever so popular, like ridiculously extremely popular, um, and I can completely see why. They are absolutely gorgeous, they are full of colour, and um, I feel very, very privileged to have one of the high volume colour paintings here. So are you ready for this? This painting has 192 colours and it isn't the one with the most can you believe um so as you can see the schematic on the side is three columns long pretty much three i think the other one has 196 so it's not going to be too far off uh being fuller but this is the image. It is called Walking in the Rain. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful image. Um, in relation to the symbols, of course, there is 192 symbols. I'm not seeing anything that is glaring at me and going, you are far too similar, um, especially because I'm sort of looking along colour tones as well um, because you can have symbols that are similar but two completely different colours which make it fine. I, I can imagine there's going to be some funky ones in here to be fair. Um, I'm quite excited. There are some that is like we've got a square in pink. We've then got a square with a slash through but that's in sort of more of a brown and the actual symbol on top of it is yellow rather than black. Uh, we then have a square with two crosses, looks a bit, a little bit like an envelope. Um, that one too is pink but it's a darker pink uh, and it is more square than sort of, the other one is, while it looks square it's sort of rectangle as well. Um, so even those that look similar, when you're looking at them, they do look different, which is good. Uh, we have another square one here with a slash through. So we do have a symbol that is actually the same. However, one is grey. I might need to get the sticker sheet out, actually. Let's get the sticker sheet out so that you can see this properly. Oh my goodness me, they've, they've wrapped up this sticker sheet. I am going to show you the full painting in a moment, but, um, oh, we have two sticker sheets. Are these both on the same one? There's one of them. No, the other one is on the second sticker sheet. So these are in a bag. So this is one of them, 317. Can you see it is a black symbol on a pale grey? I thought there was three then. There is three. Oh my goodness me. Um, so that is a square with a slash through. Let me find the other one because of course they're all in a different place on the sticker sheets. Here's the second one. So we've got one here, square with a line through is 317. It's a black symbol on a pale gray. Uh, and where we have it the second time, it is a yellow symbol on a brown. So they are different, but of course you do need to pay attention um, a little bit more. It is down as being sort of for the more experienced diamond painter. Or if you're like me, even though I am experienced in the fact that I've been doing this for over five years now, um, but this is the sort of thing I would take would have taken on as my second diamond painting. 
if you're that way inclined and love a challenge, um, then yes, this is going to be absolutely epic, but amazing. Um, so yeah, there is, I say, 192 different colours. Um, on this, this is one of their newer style canvas that they're moving to. So it does have, um, it has the nice soft lint back, but as you'll notice with the symbol that I advised you had yellow rather than black, they don't use white symbols anymore on these. Uh, they use yellow instead. Uh, the reason being is when you have a printer um, for the white, so for example, the white symbol with the black line, it doesn't print the white. It only prints the black. So if you have a symbol where, let's say, in turn, they have chosen yellow. Let me find a good example. So here we go. Oh, no, I want a different example. Um, have we got a hashtag? No, oh, this one will be a good symbol. So 939, can you see they have done, it is sort of a line with two lines across it in yellow. If that is in white, therefore not printed what you can find with some um, and not all it doesn't happen with all companies but it can happen with some is when you get bleed through on the black it can actually make these white lines a lot thinner and therefore make them really really hard to see um, by printing them in yellow it keeps them clear so we do have a straight line, which is quite thin. Um, if we can zoom in or it's easier to lift it up sometimes than zoom in. So you can see we do have a straight line here and a line here, which is printed in yellow. So they are two symbols that are very similar, but they're actually very close together. And because it is a full straight line, it is easier to see. What I'm looking for, Oh, actually, that is the symbol. So that straight line with two lines across. So it has lightened it just a little bit, though I don't have a light underneath it. Um, that line down with two lines across is actually 939. You can see the two lines across, but they are a little bit thinner. With white, that often disappears. Uh, but it has still gone thinner, even though it is printed in yellow. Though actually, looking at the symbol on the canvas, it's quite thin. Anyway, <laughs> maybe that was a bad example. Uh, but in general, printing in yellow can be better for symbol clarity. Um, and to be fair, I can still see what those symbols are. And as I say, I haven't got a light pad underneath it. In fact, maybe I should just hold it up to my lights. Bear with me. My lights are like a light pad. Yeah, you can see them when you've got a light pad on there. You can definitely see the lines. This is probably one that I will have to use a light pad with. So, as I say, they have two that are the extremely high colour canvases. This is one of them. The other one is called Outside the Sweet Shop and is absolutely adorable um, and hopefully will be with me soon. Um, but I'm, I'm going to do one of them. I'm going to do them at separate times, of course, um, and I will need your votes on which one I'm going to do. But pre-orders have, so pre-orders of this for August have arrived with Diamond Art Studio, I've seen on their social media. Uh, they have been working this weekend to get them all inspected so that the pre-orders can get sent out. It's the first time they've ever done pre-orders for these designs just to help them meet demand because it takes a few months from putting an order in for it to arriving with them uh, due to production and of course transport so that they can keep um, 
keep things as cost effective as possible. Even when they do speedier transport, it still takes a while because of production. So they did open pre-orders for these designs. Um, they're restocks, so they will, if you haven't pre-ordered this one but you want it, which I completely do not blame you. I mean, look at all these flowers. Absolutely stunning. Um, then they are due back in in October. Um, so they have made sure they have ordered, of course, enough for all the pre-orders and a huge amount on top of that. But they have also confirmed that they will keep restocking this design until the, you know, it's not a one hit wonder and then it will go. Uh, they will keep restocking as long as it is, you know, cost effective and stuff to do so. Um, there will eventually be a time that it will possibly get retired, but that is nowhere um, on the horizon at the moment because everybody just loves it. But the colours on this artist's paintings are just so vibrant. I think that's that's part of the love. The challenge of doing a painting that is so many colours is also a big, big hit. Uh, this one is a square. It is 60 by 80 centimetres. So it is big. Say so it has three different sticker sheets. I thought we were going to have two. This is good. Either of the ones that I do are going to be a kitting up marathon. I have a case ready for one of these um, to kit it all up. And I'm really, really excited to do it. Um, but I want outside the sweet shop to turn up first and then you guys can help me decide which one. But there is two, excuse me, two bags of diamonds. That's one. I mean, just look at those colours. So vibrant. There is a little lime green in there. And then if that isn't enough, we have bag two, which has just, I mean, I think they've just included pretty much every single bright DMC colour there is to have. Um, there is just over 450 um, DMC colours used with diamond painting. I know a lot of places say 447, but I've actually found... While there is that list, there are some companies that use ones outside of that. Um, so I found it to be over 550. But I think they have picked every single bright colour in there. So this is going to be such a fun painting to work on. Uh, but even when you look at it, while you do have bright colours, you do have muted as well. It just makes such an amazing image i'm not pulling all the diamonds out because that's just that's just asking for trouble um but yeah we have a gorgeous rainbow shade behind of course all these gorgeous flowers but then we do have you know some little bits more muted parts um i can't see how it's not a painting that most people are gonna love to be honest. Uh, so if you are looking for a challenge um, or you just love the painting, Slow and Steady wins the race with this one, I think. Um, I am say I'm going to do either this one or Outside the Sweet Shop. I am going to put a vote once I have Outside the Sweet Shop and I've shown it you. I'm going to put it to a vote as to which one I kit up but it is going to be a painting I do one section at a time. It's going to be a slow burner, a slow burner painting. I have uh, one slow burner painting at the moment. This would be my second slow burner. So it would take quite a while to do, but that's okay. Um, it takes a bit more thinking power um, because of the amount of symbols and making sure you've got the right one. So there's a lot more thinking process with it. However, 
once it's finished the sense of accomplishment will be massive um so yeah i will pop a link to this artist down below just in case uh, they do end up having any stock left over of any of the designs after pre-orders finished though I doubt it, uh, but I don't know for definite. I don't know their numbers and whether they're going to have any available. Uh, but I will pop a link and a discount code so that you can keep an eye on the restocks that are due in October. Uh, if you follow their social media, they will let you know when things are due in. Uh, they you know, they try and keep everybody as up to date as possible as to when you know, pre-orders are due to hit the country, whether they've hit customs and things. So they'll be very vocal in relation to restocks. But I'm just loving this. And I really can't decide which one I want to do between this one and outside the sweet shop, which is why I'm getting you lot to decide. But have you done this one? I know there are a couple of people that watch this channel that have done this one. Uh, I know there is also somebody that has done outside the sweet shop. But do let me know in the comments down below. Is 192 colour painting something you would like to take on? Something you're not sure about? Or something that is a big fat no? <laughs> <laughs> because of the amount of colours um, in it. <clears throat> Are you up for the challenge or not, is the question. Um, and in turn, if you are, would you pick this one or would you pick outside the sweet shop as your first one to do? It's 192 colours compared to 196, so not really a big brainer in relation to that. I don't think... I think, you know, it, it's going to be a whole different kind of ball game, uh, whichever one. There is some patches of blockiness in this um, in relation to symbols and colours. Um, but I guess it's one of those until I start working on it. I'm not going to be exactly sure how confetti it is. Uh, but I'm definitely seeing some blocks of colour that will make it... You know, it'll give me a respite in between the madness of doing other sections, I suppose. Um, and I'm sure once I've started doing it for a while, I'll get a, a full feel for it. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And do check out the link for all this, all the artwork from this artist. There's quite a few artists that Diamond Art Studio do that I love. Um, but my recent fascination <laughs> are these because of the colour. Oh, here you go. Helcorio. How is it? I don't know how you say it. Anyway, there you go. That's the artist's name. But as I say, I'll pop a link to the artist down below. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching, for my rambling through this one. I feel like I've rambled quite a bit, but I've been itching to see what this one looks like, what this many colours look like. And yeah, I have quite a few exciting projects at the moment and I am excited to kick up a painting with over 190 colours. So as soon as I've got outside the sweet shop, I will show you guys that one. You can help me make a decision and I will get one of them kitted up as a slow burner um, to do over, hopefully in less than a year. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.